The Optimus, Optimus 3 design, as I mentioned earlier, is, I think, finally the right design. When Tesla first showed the world their humanoid robot, it felt more like a sneak peek from a sci-fi lab than a product you'd ever see walking into your house. The first version, nicknamed Bumblebee, looked like a human skeleton had been dressed in metal sheets. Wires poked out, the joints were clunky, and the proportions were just a little off. It was fascinating but you knew right away that this thing wasn't ready for prime time. Fast forward to today, and the new Optimus Gen 3 is a completely different creature. The moment you see it, you understand that Tesla has finally crossed the line between cool prototype and product people could actually own. The metal frames and exposed joints are gone. In their place is a smooth, white body that flows like a single piece from the neck all the way down to the feet. The head is a glossy black dome, clean and reflective, without eyes, a nose, or a mouth. And oddly enough, that makes it feel more alive. It doesn't fall into the trap of looking too human and triggering the uncomfortable uncanny valley effect. Instead, it gives off the energy of something futuristic but approachable, like a tech device you wouldn't mind having in your living room. This design shift isn't just about looks. Tesla has a much bigger vision here. Elon Musk wants to take Optimus from a stage demonstration to a global product, with the long-term goal of producing millions of units and selling them for under $20,000 each. That's cheaper than most compact cars, and almost unbelievable in a world where most humanoid robots still cost closer to $80,000 or more. To get there, Tesla couldn't just tweak the old robot. They had to start from zero and redesign everything for beauty, practicality, and mass production. Think about where they started. The first Optimus was a collection of exposed mechanical parts with a frame that looked assembled by hand in a lab. Gen 2 improved its walking and balance, but it still looked like an industrial machine, with joints and components sticking out. Now, Gen 3 feels like a complete rethink. Its white composite shell hides all the mechanics and creates a single continuous surface. It moves with a natural, confident gait that finally looks ready for a home, a hotel, or even a hospital hallway. Tesla also focused on the emotional side of design. When a robot is going to share human spaces, appearance and posture matter as much as functionality. People react badly to robots that try to look human but don't quite succeed. Tesla avoided that trap by going abstract. Gen 3's smooth body and black faceplate feel like technology and humanity blended, without crossing into creepy territory. It's the difference between seeing a cold machine and seeing a friendly device you can trust. But there's more to this redesign than surface appeal. Tesla is playing the long game. For Optimus to become affordable and widely used, it has to be light, energy efficient, and easy to build at scale. Gen 3 weighs about 56 kilograms, far lighter than most rivals. That reduced weight makes it safer around people because it can stop faster in emergencies and do less damage if something goes wrong. It also sips power like a small appliance. Idle consumption is only about 100 watts, and walking takes around 500 watts, roughly what a floor fan or gaming PC might use. That low weight and energy use come from a complete internal overhaul. Tesla redesigned the skeleton using a mix of aluminum, composites, and even some carbon fiber in high-stress areas. The frame is strong without being heavy, and the lighter build allowed Tesla to shrink the motors and batteries as well. Less weight means less energy, which means smaller, cheaper components, which in turn makes the robot easier to mass-produce. It's a loop of efficiency that traditional humanoid robots just don't have. Another part of this strategy is modularity. Gen 3 is built like a consumer gadget. The arms, legs, head, battery, and sensor clusters can all be detached quickly. If a part wears out, it can be swapped without taking the entire robot apart. This approach also speeds up factory assembly. Instead of technicians manually bolting pieces together, Tesla can use its own industrial robots to pick up finished modules and snap them onto the torso. Robots building robots has been one of Musk's visions for years, and Optimus Gen 3 is the clearest example of that philosophy so far. Tesla also took advantage of its existing electric vehicle ecosystem. Instead of inventing a new supply chain, they pulled from what already works. Optimus uses the same 4,680 battery cells as Tesla cars, 
the same wide-angle cameras developed for full self-driving, and the same real-time image processing chips. By sharing parts with vehicles that are already mass-produced, Tesla saves money, increases reliability, and ensures parts are always available. It also means Optimus is built on technology that's been battle-tested in millions of cars on real roads. Even the head of the robot has evolved. Gen 2 had a static, dark plate for a face. Gen 3 features a dynamic LED interface capable of simple expressions and signals. It can communicate status or emotion without speaking, which is key for environments like hospitals, restaurants, or homes where people need to know what the robot is thinking. It's not trying to smile like a human, but it can show enough feedback to feel alive. Another area Tesla improved is maintainability and inspection. Gen 3 is designed for the reality of large-scale deployment. In the past, accessing internal components meant taking apart big sections of the frame. Now, diagnostic ports and quick-release panels make it easy for technicians to check systems or swap parts. That's a small detail that makes a massive difference when you imagine tens of thousands of these robots in service. All of these design choices lead to one thing, scalability. Early Optimus models were impressive as experiments, but they were hand-built, slow to assemble, and expensive. Gen 3 is the first Tesla robot that feels like it could roll off an assembly line the same way cars do. Fewer parts, lighter materials, modular construction, and shared components add up to a robot that can be produced at high volume and low cost. And this isn't just about factories or tech demos anymore. Tesla is aiming to make robots that can work in homes, hotels, and restaurants, alongside humans. That's why the design matters so much. A robot with exposed hydraulics and a metal skull doesn't feel safe in a living room. A clean, abstract figure with smooth movements and a friendly silhouette does. If history is any guide, this could be Tesla's iPhone moment for robotics. The first iPhone wasn't just a phone. It was a cultural signal that the future had arrived in your hand. Optimus Gen 3 sends the same kind of message. It's no longer a mechanical curiosity built for labs. The journey from Bumblebee to Gen 3 shows how fast this field is moving. In just a couple of years, Tesla went from a walking skeleton to a polished, modular, efficient humanoid that feels ready for prime time. Behind the sleek shell is a strategy of cost reduction, speed, and human-friendly design. Behind that strategy is an ambition to fill the world with millions of robots that work, learn, and live alongside us. Optimus Gen 3 isn't just a better robot. It's Tesla's statement that humanoid robots are about to leave the lab and walk into everyday life. And once that happens, the line between science fiction and reality might never look the same again.